Exit Nation, welcome. I'm very excited to have you join us today for this incredible webinar. We've got a lot to cover. My name is Samantha Morris. I am the VP of Digital Marketing for Exit Realty Corp International. And I'm joined today by two outstanding people that I know in digital marketing, and we have so much to share with you. Um, first, Scott Shapiro. He is the Industry Relations Lead for Facebook. Second, Gabriel Gervelis. He is the VP or Director of Sales and Marketing at Evocalize. Now, these two gentlemen have been integral. They have made such a difference for Exit Realty. Since we began working together as a corporation, as an entire brand across the nation, we've seen an increase in impressions that we make in our digital advertising of 305%. We saw so much value for the brand um, that we wanted to turn it around into a tool that could work for you. So we've come together and we built Exit Ad Center. Um, Scott's gonna take you through some amazing information about Facebook and advertising, and Gabe is going to put it all together with regards to Exit Ad Center. So I'd like to turn everything over today to Scott Shapiro, let's go. Hi, Samantha, thank you so much for the opportunity to come in and speak to Exit Nation. Um, to second what Sam talked about, we've been really blessed to have a wonderful partnership, not only with Samantha and her team, but all the way up to Tammy from the CEO level, to also Gabriel and the folks at Vocalize, to his CEO, Matthew Marks, um, it's been a true collaborative process and really looking forward to taking you guys through about the next 45 to 50 minutes of just content and Gabriel's going to do an amazing demo of the tool itself. Um, the content I'm going to walk you through from the Facebook perspective today ladders back to a recent publication that we made in the industry called the Real Estate Professionals Guide to Success. Um, a little bit of context as we get started with some top of mind thoughts here which is the guide was published because one of the things that we've heard through attending conferences such as yours actually last fall in Nashville is that you need in the market to hear more from Facebook, whether you're an agent, a broker, an owner, a regional owner, that frankly, you hear a lot about our platforms, there are a lot of myths, there are a lot of you know, questions about the complexity about what we do from an advertising and marketing perspective. Super proud of the guide, but also super proud of the fact that, as you guys will see, the Exit Ad Center is one of the very few um, exclusive tools and programs that we called out in this guide that goes out to the entire industry to over 1.6 million realtors across the United States. And of course, I think there are about 350, 400,000 in Canada. So just level setting, you guys are in great hands. Your executive and technical executives have built you a wonderful tool with a wonderful partner who we collaborate very closely with. And we're really excited to walk you through the whys and the hows of, of how this can drive business results for you. So moving ahead, a couple of things here that as you get started, the first thing about Facebook to think about is kind of contrarian to what you may think. Instead of thinking about Facebook and Instagram and Messenger as social ad networks, you really need to think of them as ways to reach consumers on mobile and communities on mobile. I was going to start with communities, then switch to consumers and realize they're all one and the same. The reason is because the mobile device is where the consumer holds power. So we know from research that we've done that buyers make their decisions very quickly after they use mobile to make their initial research. So the way to think about this is, the mobile device is now the front door to the actual open home. It's actually the, the way that the consumer can learn about the listing. Frankly, they can learn about you as an agent and or the office and the brokerage, the community they're looking at. It's a power tool for research. But once they make their minds up, they move very quickly. 50% or over 50% actually of buyers use the first agent that they speak with. So when we think about Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger marketing, we think about it from a top of the funnel perspective, which is, again, it's not just about advertising your listing, but it's about being in front of the right audience at the right time. The Exit Ad Center does that. We're gonna get deeper into the hows and whys of why it works and why it achieves that goal. The second thing you should know about mobile is people are actually, again, using mobile across all generations to look for homes. So if you look at that stat in the lower right-hand corner, it's 76% of millennials turn to mobile to search for either rentals or properties to buy. That's probably very intuitive and not shocking to you if you're watching this webinar. But the stat that I would actually look at if I were you is actually the 35% of baby boomers and 24% of 
of next gen or silent generation um, who actually use mobile to look for properties. So again, stepping back, thinking about Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger as your mobile platforms to reach consumers of all generations is really important and a key. There are a couple of additional stats from a consumer perspective that are really important to keep in mind. One, on average in the US, consumers spend three hours a day on their mobile devices. This means everything mobile. It means, you know, in your case, if you're an agent, if you're out there and you're working on your calendar, you're working on emails, you're doing text, you're hitting the contractor, the inspector, you're doing the, all of these things, you're using your mobile device and you're using it probably about three hours a day on average if not more, actually probably as an agent or a broker, you're a power user. But for the average consumer, it's three hours a day. What's important though is one in three media minutes is now being spent on mobile. The way to think about this is we're not only consuming Netflix, Hulu, long form content, YouTube, Facebook, watch, Instagram TV, on our TVs and on our desktops, we're also doing it on our mobile devices. So again, why this matters is because it ladders back to your consumer is on mobile, you need to win in mobile marketing. And again, the Exit Ad Center was designed and devised to be a mobile first marketing tool in conjunction with our tools, which are also built as mobile first experiences. One question we get consistently is about the value of the Facebook business page versus my personal page. I hear it from agents all over the country uh, prior to shelter in place, doing the convention circuit and industry talk scene a lot, you would hear, well, I built my business. I've got all these friends. I've got thousands of friends. Why do I need a business page? Well, there are a couple of reasons. One, to do the types of advertising we consider at Facebook to be best practices and that have deep analytical learning to drive leads, to do videos, all the things that we're gonna discuss at Exit Ad Center, you need to have a Facebook for business page. That's core to it. You really need that to be able to advertise and do the kinds of advertising that we think are best in class. The second thing is that look at that stat over in the lower right hand corner. Three in four United States consumers, Facebook users, visit a Facebook for Business page at least once a week. A little known fact about our platforms is outside of Google, the most search traffic done globally is on Facebook. Think about it. If you think about trying to find a church, a synagogue, the school that you wanna to go to, the beauty salon, maybe your favorite pizza place. Oftentimes you're using our platforms to search and that also can tie back to you as an agent and or a broker, an owner of an office, the way that the consumer would look for you. So we have the advertising side of the equation that makes the Facebook for Business page super important, but then we also have this understanding of consumers are actually out there looking for you on Facebook as a local business. So going backwards, how many people are on Facebook? Why does this matter here? 168 million Americans use Facebook each and every day. That is the audience of the Super Bowl, the Oscars, and the Grammys combined. It's about two thirds of the American population that are adults. So if we extrapolate this and you think about the fact that you might be in a smaller community, you might be in a large community. You might be down in Miami and Florida, you might be in Arizona and Phoenix. At the end of the day, the way to think about this as you position Facebook to, your, to actually the sellers you're working with and why it's important, is because roughly two thirds of the community are going to be spending time either on Facebook or Instagram each day. And when they do spend that time, what we found is that across social media networks, around 75 minutes a day, according to eMarketer, is spent across all different types of social media outlets. Facebook and Instagram constitute about two thirds of that or 60 minutes a day. So if we pause and think about when we're in a listing presentation, when we talk about, you know what, if you give me your listing, I have wonderful digital tools that Exit has provided me and we're going to do Facebook and Instagram marketing. Also understand these stats so you can explain to the people that you wanna represent why you're gonna put them on Facebook and Instagram. It's the way that people use mobile and it's the amount of time spent on our platforms, allowing for you to get the most bang for your buck from a marketing perspective and for their listing to be seen by the most consumers out there, giving them a competitive edge. Another point you may wanna make and keep in mind for yourself is that Facebook is a platform for real estate shopping. Think about your own use. If you've ever stopped and paused on an ad or you've ever clicked on an ad, you've submitted a lead, you've bought some sort of you know, piece of technology, or in my case, I bought a Snoopy mug. This, it came from Facebook and Instagram, right? So we spend time shopping 
We spend time actually consuming. And what we've learned through research is that Facebook and Instagram together are leading consumers to more likely buy products from our platforms than all of the other social media networks combined. Simply put, cutting through the chase, there are consumers who are willing to shop from Facebook and Instagram simply because we've set the expectation and experiences up properly so that we make it easy for them. And likewise, the Exit Ad Center does the very same thing as a real estate first best in class tool. So we now know about mobile and the importance of that. We now know how many people are on Facebook, that they're more likely to buy, they spend more time on the platform. Let's talk a little bit about best practices. And this is where the exciting part of the Exit Ad Center comes to light. So I'm gonna give you kind of the macro view of Facebook. Gabriel will talk about this as well, but we have built, frankly, machine learning and AI technology within the Facebook Marketing Center itself, just Facebook and Instagram as tools, where when you tell Facebook what you wanna achieve from a marketing perspective, it will find it and go hunt for it basically in the most efficient fashion. So if you say to Facebook, I wanna generate more page likes, which is a big no-no, don't do that, but let's just for this exercise say that's what we wanna do. It's gonna go find people on Facebook who are more likely to like your page. Similarly, if you wanna have people who can submit a lead form, the same thing, and or to click offsite to your website. Why Exit Ad Center is so important is because we know most agents struggle with this. Most agents, over 60% of agents that we could look at global data when they do ads on their own, often pick the wrong objective. So when we think about, does Facebook marketing work? It's all about whether you pick the right objective. And that comes to clearing up some myths. And this is one of the things we love most about working together with the team at Exit and Avocalize. We looked at these myths and we actually unpacked each one of them and we made a solution for each one. The first one is, there's no way to tell if my Facebook or Instagram ads are even working. Actually, that's not true. With the reporting and the ease of reporting from the Exit Ad Center, which pulls from Facebook, you'll be able to understand what you're getting for the marketing money you're putting in. Everything from website clicks, to cost per lead, to impressions served, easy metrics for you to understand your money and where it's going and how it's reaching your consumers. The second myth and why we actually made the Exit Ad Center in collaboration with Samantha and her team and with Gabriel and his team is because folks think status updates and organic posts are as effective as paid ads. The truth of the matter is that while having an organic presence on Facebook and Instagram is important, only 3% of your page followers will probably see your message. If you think about it, everything is competing with everything for a on our platforms with millions and millions of pieces of information that the consumers can choose from. So paid advertising, breaking through, reaching new people beyond the people who like your page is extremely important and frankly core to success on our platforms. Which then leads to the last point, which we hear a lot. Okay, so I don't, you're telling me not to do a ton of status and organic posting, but I'm just gonna boost the post. Boosting a post while considered an advertising unit on Facebook doesn't do the deep types of advertising we need to do to sell real estate. Among the first things it doesn't do is you can't do a lead form from a boosted post. It's super hard to actually reach the people that you want from a boosted post because frankly, it doesn't have as many complexities in the actual backend metrics that we provide. It's a fancy way of saying basically the Exit Ad Center has been built on top of our most robust advertising tools but with the ease and the ubiquity of actually a mobile phone, which I'll get into in a minute. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about how to build success with Facebook and Instagram. First thing is we've talked a little bit about the page. Again, making sure you have a page, making sure you put your content up. This is where really you can kind of break away from the listing, which is usually the thing that you have as your advertising and actually talk about your expertise. So the Facebook page, actually when we do an ad, it serves that purpose, but also using the page to explain your expertise, your understanding of the community is super important. Um, it's a way for you as an agent and or a broker and an owner to actually expand upon your value proposition. It helps to connect with community. It also helps to ge de generate demand. So 
what is a Facebook lead ad? If you've never encountered a lead ad, it's an advertising unit on Facebook and Instagram across all of our platforms, including stories and video, where when the consumer looks to actually click and to learn more, Facebook pre-populates their information with their email address and phone number so that when they click the ad through, it goes right into the exit ad center, right into you so you can make an immediate and consistent and easy connection back to that consumer. It's exciting for the consumer because they don't have to fiddle or faddle with a big long form and they don't have to go to a website that might not be optimized for mobile use. Billions and billions of advertising dollars are spent across this ad unit each and every year. And yet you would be surprised in real estate how many people don't use it. Again, when we collaborated and designed the Exit Ad Center, this was a key component to that experience. And Gabriel will show you a little bit more in the demo. The second thing that we talk a lot about is what I call the artist formerly known as DARE, which is now real estate ads. These are dynamic ads. Um, these can be used at the broker or the regional level, either for lead generation or even for recruitment to take a catalog and dynamically pass through all sorts of different types of creative and listings. So if, you're, if somebody's on your website, they're actually exhibiting behavior and looking at, let's say, a neighborhood in Austin, where I live. It's in the northern part of Austin. And it's, I'm looking at four bedroom and three bath homes. Instead of serving me an ad retargeting in Buda, which is in South Austin, 25 miles from here, and really where I don't wanna be, this experience dynamically will pass through the right types of homes in the right neighborhoods, giving the consumer a more curated and personal experience and also allowing you to actually serve a more efficient advertising experience and frankly, a better experience for the consumer. You're giving them listings they wanna see versus things they don't wanna see. Next slide, video. How do we bring mobile to life? We do it with video. Video is really hard um, for a lot of agents, but here are some best practices that we're gonna cover. First, with video, when you're in doing advertising, not when you're doing Facebook Live, which is a completely different set of uh, ways of thinking about the platform. When you're thinking about ads, if you have a video, make sure your video is 15 seconds or less. Use it as a teaser, use it as a preview. Drive them maybe to your website where you have a longer form video. Maybe drive them back to your Facebook page where that listing also has a longer form video. You can embed a lead ad. Again, when you think about video just within stories and within newsfeed on a mobile device, always think 15 seconds or less. The consumer has just frankly less attention to watch a longer form video unless they're watching an open house on live, which we'll get into. Stories. This is one of the most underutilized tools in real estate. It's one of the things that we can do really super well with the Exit Ad Center, which is create an immersive experience where your listing comes to life in stories. More and more people spend time in stories. Stories is actually expanding off of our platforms into others. Um, the other night I happened to be on ESPN and realized they've started running stories. YouTube's running stories. Spotify's running stories. The other night Google was even suggesting content in a stories format. So again, it's ubiquitous. It's how the consumer is thinking about consumption. And if you step back and you think about opening the Facebook app or the Instagram app or WhatsApp or Messenger, stories are at the very top of the, of the mask. It's actually the lead product that we give to consumers. So having access to stories when one billion stories are shared across the world and across our Facebook apps each and every day is core to another great way that we can marry the Exit Ad Center back up to your objectives. Think about trying to do this all on your own. Think about how long that would take, how tough of an experience that would be. Think about the fact that now with Exit Ad Center, you can do all of these amazing things and do it in the time it took before shelter in place to actually go get a Tim Hortons or a Starbucks, depending on where you're located. By the way, the Tim Hortons reference is for Samantha, since I know she's a Canadian. Um, but a couple of other things on stories before we kind of uh, wrap this up. Um, they also help with your brand lift. So it also helps you as the realtor show up in addition to your uh, listing. And as you'll notice in these mock-ups, the learn more button or the sign up button, it's a swipe up. And then all of a sudden, guess what pops up? That Facebook lead form we talked about, which is really that easy, lightweight, great interface for the consumer. 
to submit their information so you can make that connection back to them quickly. All right, we talked a little bit about live. This is something that's not necessarily facing on Exit Ad Center, but again, as a partner and being part of Facebook and Instagram and the collaboration and the relationship we have with Samantha and team at Exit, we wanted to just lightly touch on this really quickly. More and more, as we think about post shelter in place, Facebook and Instagram Live will become a permanent tool in the real estate space. Consumers are more apt now to actually consume long form content through live, through watch parties than they ever were before. Now, this may sound confusing because a couple slides back we said 15 seconds for video, but then you have story, uh, actually you have your um, Facebook Live and your Instagram Live. Those are different, totally different types of environments. So video and feed, video and stories, short to the point. But in a Facebook Live, basically you're conducting an open house with your mobile phone. Hopefully you're using a gimbal as a nice steady cam measure. And you're walking the consumer through the home that you're listing. One of the big questions we get is, you know, I'm scared to be on live. I don't do live. I don't do video well. All these things we hear. The thing I would tell each and every one of you is you've done open homes for years. You've done probably hundreds, if not thousands of them in your career as an agent. You know how to do this. The only difference is maybe myself and my wife, we're not standing next to you. We're just not walking through the house with you. But the attributes and the things that you're pointing out and the tour you're giving, they're really no different than the job you do each and every day. You're just using a mobile device to actually be the storyteller, the eyes and the ears for the consumer. And with Facebook Live, what's great is that you can also go back and have a watch party. So later in the day, even if somebody's, let's say you have only five people watching live because you're taping it on a Wednesday, never fear. We see video stats that show for not only 24, but 48 for 72 hours later, people go back and watch long form content within the Facebook environment, almost the same way that they would use HGTV. So think about it. You're actually making your own video of house hunters right now to help your consumers. A couple of tips and tricks. Just always think about safety first. Think about your lighting, your Wi-Fi, do the prep work. The other thing I would state as an agent and or broker to train yourselves on is this is your time to actually talk about your expertise as an agent. Talk about your understanding of the neighborhood, the community, what it offers. So it's a really great way to go beyond the listing to show your expertise so that even if they're interested in the listing and maybe they don't end up buying the house, they've connected to you, they know who you are, they know your value proposition, and it's a wonderful way to establish that relationship, believe it or not, through a mobile device and just shooting video. Okay, so the next step, the next step is that I'm gonna actually throw it to Gabriel and he's gonna talk about the success of the Exit Ad Center. But here's something I would like to leave you with. I, I was asked this question recently on a panel when we think about partners such as the Exit Ad Center and what, what it does for uh, the agents and the brokers who use it. Somebody asked me, Scott, if I had $10, would you boost a post? Would you do it in the Ad Center on your own? In other words, in Facebook's native platform? Or would you use Exit Ad Center? Easy question to answer, the Exit Ad Center. It's been built on top of Facebook for ease and execution and Gabriel's gonna walk you through it. It's also been built to take away any wrong choices you may make. We've been very intentional with the builds and the collaboration we've done together. So it's not necessarily about how much you spend. It's not about if you spend $5 or 25 or 40. There, there are things that we can talk about at a later date when it comes to spend. But overwhelmingly, what I want you to walk away with is this tool was designed in collaboration with our teams at Facebook with a leading technology company in a Vocalize who we have worked on with several projects. They're wonderful, they know the space inside and out, but also with the kindness and the care and the thoughtfulness that the team at Exit has put together towards this as well, having a front row seat to collaborate with both of our teams. So in the end, I'm really proud of the tool that we built together as partners, and I'm thrilled to show it off um, and let Gabriel kind of take the reins here and walk through some successes and also walk through, frankly, how the tool works. So Gabriel, I'm going to throw it to you. Great. Hey, thanks for passing the roll over to me, Scott. Uh, before I get started, huge thank you to you, Scott. I know uh, putting that uh, real estate guide together was a big uh, undertaking for you and your team. Like a lot of work went into the creative, 
There's a lot of great data points there. It's very challenging to put things like that together. So hats off to you for, for putting that together. Um, I really enjoyed one of the points that you said about uh, more than 50% of all buyers talk with one agent before making a decision. So I thought that was extremely powerful. And then towards the end, when you were talking about Facebook Live and the watch party, like other tools that you can use to grow your business on the Facebook platform. Uh, I thought those are really good takeaways for people listening to this that help them grow their businesses. Uh, let me change the slide. Okay, so uh, change the conversation over to, to digital advertising and Facebook advertising. And I'll start off with the analysis that we've been doing uh, with uh, in the COVID environment. So in, in February and March, when COVID first started, the team at Vocalize felt the responsibility to dig into the data to figure out how is this impacting advertising on Facebook. And so to date with this analysis, we've actually analyzed about 400 million real estate advertising impressions that we've served. And we've also analyzed behaviors that have generated about 190,000 leads. So when I say behavior, I'm talking about things that you'll see here on the, on the top of the analysis slide, like CTR. CTR stands for click-through rate. And a click-through rate means that somebody who sees an ad then clicks on it. Uh, it's a unit that we use to measure how people are engaging with an ad. It lets us know how effective our ads are resonating with the audience. And then to the right of that, you'll see CPL, and that stands for cost per lead. And then to the right of that, you see CVR, which is a lead to conversion rate. And that has a correlation with the lead ads that was Scott was talking about, about how many people click on an ad and then fill out that lead form to submit contact information. Then on the left of this table, you'll see the results of a month over month analysis that we would conclude every month to identify what's happening in COVID. And the results here kind of speak for themselves. Like when COVID first hit, we saw uh, people take a step back. Uh, we, we saw some of our metrics start to come down. And you can see here on the right, uh, in comparing February to March, we had an 18% decrease in conversion rate. Uh, the next month, however, we recorded a 47% increase in conversion rate. And you think about going from a negative 18% to a positive 47%, I mean, that is a historic jump. That's an astronomical jump that shows an extreme level of buyer intent being unlocked through Facebook ads and the Exit Ad Center. And then month over month over month, you keep seeing conversion rates increase, increase, and increase. And then in the middle column, you'll see that those were driving down the cost per lead. Uh, so from April to May to June, the cost per lead continues to fall. Uh, with CTR, it took a little longer for it to start to come back. But in April and June, we see a lot of people re-engaging with the ads and, in, and ad engagement is starting to increase as well. And that's what we like to think of uh, the beginning of a buyer's journey. If I'm just starting my buyer's journey and I see your ad, I'm going to click on it, and that is measured through click-through rate. But one of, an interesting data point came across my desk the other day, and I would like you to focus on that plus 47% in the CVR column. So the National Associations of Realtors has a, a index they call a pending home sale index. And what we, what we found, they operate it's very similar to how we analyze our data. We analyze month over month conversion rates to see changes and fluctuations in the data. The National Association of Realtors, they, they monitor month over month changes in pending home sales. And when we found that we saw a 47% increase month over month in Facebook conversion rates, it was strikingly familiar or very close to what NAR published in May. So you think about like March and April conversion rates coming back in a big way, and then in May, pending home sales, those numbers are too similar to one another to be ignored, right? So we wanna follow this information, and we wanna follow this, this idea of a correlation between the Facebook uh, advertising system and these pending home sales. And so April to May, we measured a 24% increase. Uh, NAR has not launched their data yet, but we'll, we'll monitor and keep an eye on it. Uh, and if you've been following Exit's blog, the real estate industry professional leaders.com, uh, every month we're posting some content on there with these analysis along with some other uh, best practices as well uh, in order to keep you, uh, keep you updated. So keep an eye on that. 
One of the last uh, data points that I'll share before we get into a quick case study then go into the demo is that when we analyze year-over-year -year data, when we take a look at the cost of media on Facebook from June 2019 to the cost of media in June 2020, we have found a 50% decrease in CPM. Now, this is a year-over-year -year data point. So this is not effect of COVID-19. Uh, this is something, something different. So our team huddled together and we're like, like what is causing this dramatic drop in year-over-year -year conversion rate or year-over-year uh, -year media costs? And we came to the theory that it is the sophistication of the programs like Exit Ad Center that we build they're consistently getting smarter. They're consistently compiling all these results that we're optimizing from all the programs that you're running. And what happens is when we get better and better and better and better and better at serving ads over time, the, the cost per media goes down. Now, if we were to serve the wrong ad to the wrong audience, then the way Facebook works is those rates would go up. But the more that we are using Exit, Satter, Exit Ad Center, the more Facebook's ML and AI algorithms are coming in, and this cycle that we're building together really starts to take off. Uh, let me show you an example of that in a, in a case study format. So when the slide changes over, you'll see uh, one of many examples. So this is Robert DePiro. He is one of the uh, uh, Exit Sales representative. And this case study shows how he ran three ads using the Exit Ad Center, and he generated 162 leads based off those ads. And that is a result of the analysis that we're seeing in COVID. It's a great time to advertise right now, and it's a testament to the sophistication uh, of the system that we've built in collaboration with Facebook and, and the team at Exit. Ultimately, he only spent a couple hundred bucks on this, and, he's, and he resulted in a cost per lead of a dollar and twenty-five cents. And these results are are pretty astronomical. They're they're very 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 impressive. Uh, one more case study that you'll see here is uh, is Howard, and Howard had very similar results. Uh, he was using something called, which we'll talk about in a second, uh, for for lead recruiting, for agent recruiting, for agent sponsorships, and his cost per lead was a little bit higher at six dollars and eighty-eight cents, but it was a different objective. And the quote that he talks about here is how he uses another one of Exit's partners, Op City, to qualify the leads automatically that are being generated from Exit Ad Center. So he creates the leads in Exit Ad Center, he pipes them through for qualification in Op City, and he completes the circle, and he's hands off the entire process. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty impressive thing. All in all, to date, uh, we've, we've served about 1,200 different orders in the Exit Ad Center. And so all of the agents that we've been able, fortunate to help out with, we've generated about uh, uh, 18,000 leads uh, from them as well. All right, so out of the PowerPoint, I'm gonna go over to the tool. Uh, we're gonna take a look at Exit Ad Center. Here it is. Uh, I'm gonna give a special shout out to Michelle Bilo for uh, allowing us to demo her account. Um, you'll, the first thing that you'll notice, sorry, I'm clicking back and forth on the, the webinar thing. The top, in the top right panel, you'll see that she has generated uh, 625 contacts from the campaigns that she has uh, that she has ran through this. Now, once you log into the Exit Ad Center, this is your dashboard. This is going to be your first view, and the the thing that will jump out at you are these is these quick start tiles. So you have four programs that are available on the uh, on this tile. We like to call these blueprints. And these blueprints have all of the best practices. They have all of the audience targeting. They have all of the sophistication that we've worked with Scott and the Facebook team on wired into the blueprint. So you don't have to worry about that. So I'm just gonna go over these from left to right and explain how it works. This one is called listing ads generate leads. So in this blueprint, you can promote one of your listings to generate leads and that automatically builds those lead ads, the hero product that was, was Scott was talking about. But you know, if you want to use your listings to generate traffic to your website, then this would be a good initiative for you. Listing ads, promote your listings to generate traffic on your website. And then to the right, you'll see agent recruiting and sponsorship in the same format here. We have generate leads and generate traffic. And it's the same concept of, do you want to generate leads or generate traffic to your website? Um, 
I'm going to drill into the agent recruiting because I, I, I think that, I mean, this, this program is just great. It, it shows a lot about the collaboration that, that we work through together. Uh, all right. So what you see on the right is the, um, is the ad preview tool. So as we build the ad, uh, you will, you'll start to see images uh, appearing here. Now in the center, it says, choose content. It says, please add your content. I'm going to click on this and up comes a box. Now, uh, Scott previously was talking about the dynamic ad products that Facebook invested so heavily to do. Uh, so th that is what you're looking at here. This is using Facebook's system called dynamic creative optimization. And in every row that you see from left to right is a variation of uh, content and ad copy that Samantha's team worked very hard to put together for you. Uh, and what Facebook will do is it will take all of these different snippets of ad copy, match them with the different images, figure out which combination is the best to serve to your audience, and then serve your ad and continually learn as it's going. So each of these lines is a new ad, it's an ad for you to choose from. So Samantha has broken these down for us by theme. All of these recruiting ads have themes. So for me, I'm attracted to entrepreneurship. And if you wanted to serve an ad to promote the entrepreneurial qualities of exit sponsorship program or the recruiting program for, for brokers, you would click on this button. Or maybe you know, the technology aspect resonates more with you. You know your local market better than we do. So maybe the, the residuals are gonna uh, be a better component for you to, to advertise or the branding. But you select your objective here, and then you click done. And after you click done on the right, you'll see that the ad copy is now populated. So everything is now wired into the ad. All of the robots went out and built that for you. The next step would be for you to connect your Facebook page. Now this is why it's very important to have your own Facebook business page. It's a best practice to connect that to your ad because when that ad serves, you get more brand impressions and you make a better impression about your organization and your team in your local market. Here, uh, Michelle has connected two of her agent pages, but this middle page, Exit Realty, the agent experience, that's a pre-built page. So just in case you don't have one, you can simply click on that uh, and the, you'll notice that it populates here on the right and you can serve an ad. Uh, the targeting area, uh, I believe, is one of the highlights, uh, major highlights of this feature. So when I click in targeting, you'll notice that there's a few audiences that Michelle has uploaded or uploaded on her own. She used the left bar that says audiences, and she uploaded in an Excel file agents in her that power agents that she knows in her neighborhood that uh, she wants to serve ads to. I'm going to draw your attention to this one: exit agent prospects. And this audience was created by Exit, and they created a list of every real estate agent in the nation and wired it into the system for you. So if you want to attract and sponsor new agents in your area, you simply select that, and the targeting systems are all pre-built in it. From there, you go ahead and select the state that you would like to advertise in. Uh, and all of your targeting is, uh, is complete. Uh, two last items before we complete the ad is we'll have to upload images. Now, Samantha's team has done a lot of great work on messaging, ad creative, using these images to do it that they know works really well from their corporate recruiting campaigns. They want to pass those through for you to use. And so in here that I know that like, uh, I'm using entrepreneurial content. And so when I went through these, I thought like this ad would be, really came, came out at me. It says, uh, passive income between closings. I want to serve that ad to these other agents. And I'm going to go through here. I'm going to select a few, convert potential into prosperity. That is another ad that's going to resonate extremely well with the entrepreneurial content uh, that she has created. Um, there's a few different images on here. So you'll notice that the, the images of the people are different. And Facebook in the background will match those different images with the content to create the perfect one-two punch in order to, 
figure out what's what's happening. And again, here's another passive income between closings. We want to feed the system with this amazing creative. Think outside the box. I like that one too. Samantha, you're going after my heart here, I swear. Okay. All right. The last step is I'll go and enter in at a landing page, vocalize.com I'll use. And what happens is after somebody fills out the lead form and that data comes back in to Exit Ad Center, they'll be redirected to your website. So after that conversion takes place, automatically uh, the, the prospect, buyer or seller or agent will be directed back to your website. And I'm going to hit the next button. And towards the top of the second step, you'll see that an option to do a one-time payment or a reoccurring subscription. I like to talk about reoccurring subscriptions for just a, a brief moment. What I like about reoccurring subscriptions is that it's the idea of a set it and forget it program. But Exit Ad Center will automatically continue to launch these programs month after month after month. If you think about the amazing sponsorship programs and recruiting programs that Exit has put together for you and the economic opportunities that that presents, there's no reason why you would not want to set a budget of $149 or $99 or whatever you feel is best to have this program automatically running in the background month after month after month. You get to fill your pipeline with new agents that you want to sponsor and bring into the company, or you can recruit new agents if you're a broker using that super powerful audience uh, that Exit is uploaded into the, into the ad center. Or if that's not your jam, you can come back to the one-time program and uh, adjust the budget to fit your needs, wherever your comfort level is, uh, and then you're off to the races. And of course, you have your credit card in here and I hit next. I'm not going to hit next. It's not my account. Don't worry, Michelle. We're not going to we're not going to run the run the ad for you. But there's an example of the simplicity of the UI in the background. All those best practices are built in. You don't have to select lead ad creatives. You don't have to worry about how to build ad forms into into Facebook. The sophistication of Exit Ad Center it does everything for you. So let me take a quick step back and then show you uh, and we're almost almost finished here uh, th this is the exit uh, listing ad and it's the same concept it's the same principle so if you don't want to recruit a uh, use the recruiting of the sponsorship features you would come over to promote a listing and so exit and you vocalize we've taken all of your listing data all of the listings that are available to you and we pre-populated it in this view now again all of these rows are, are listings that uh, that you have access to and you simply click a button hit done and you'll notice that the ad is automatically built the text is there the images are there and you scroll down and you can alter the content as you as you see fit maybe instead of using this ad this the front image of the home, you want to come in and, and use a, a different view uh, per your liking. Or in this case, maybe you think that the description is a little bit long. So what I would do is I come in here and I just highlight the, the top from the description because it's pulling from the MLS. I delete it from there, paste it, and boom, with two or three seconds, you have a beautiful ad. Then you would hit your next button. Uh, notice that there's no audience targeting. You don't have the option to, to do this. In the background, everything is taken care of for you. So Facebook has policies for housing, employment, and credit. Uh, we can only advertise within a 15 mile radius of the listing. The audience that we're targeting is a super powerful audience that exit, uh, we, we create using leads and, and pixel data from, uh, uh, that is provided from exit. So you don't have to worry about selecting the right audience to target or to, to launch the ad. It's a way for us to help to streamline the process for you. And then you would hit next and, there, and the, rest of the, the rest of the program is done, done for you. So I'm finishing up here. We'll end the demo on the dashboard. Just to, to reiterate and say, 
keep an eye out on these tiles. Uh, I know Exit has some, some more programs coming down the pipeline soon. We're continually working to find best practices to build in the Exit Ad Center. So check back and, uh, and see what we, that we come up with. And that's the, that's the demo and the presentation. So uh, thank you for your time. I truly appreciate you guys having me on. Uh, it's, been a, it's been an honor. So Samantha, I would pass this back to you. Scott and Gabriel, it's, uh, you know, it's so amazing to me to get some insight. And, and through our relationship, I've been able to learn about how much goes on behind the scenes. And the beauty is, it's, you know, to me, it's like walking into your house. You switch on a light and it lights up your entire room, but you don't really think about what has led you to that point to be able to have that. And this is very much like that, whereby all of the research, all of the technology, all of the work that has gone into it, um, not only putting together this tool, but also understanding who our audience is and how they're changing in this ever evolving life that we're living and understanding what their needs and wants are and how we can best communicate with them. Not only that, but with uh, the two of you, taking the time to really understand who we are, um, you know, who Exit is, who we are um, in terms of our culture, in terms of uh, all the things that are important to us as an organization. You know, it's almost beyond re real estate. It's really about people. And um, to be able to share that and have the power on the back end um, that you, the two of you bring to understand all the data um, and put it into this easy to use tool for our brokers, our owners, our agents is, is uh, phenomenal. So thank you both so much for your time today. We certainly appreciate it. Um, we continue to see amazing statistics come out of the use of Exit Ad Center with our agents and brokers. And we can't wait to continue to add to this platform to, uh, to really elevate our agents and our owners in the industry. So thank you both. Thank, thank you. you, Samantha. Thank you, Gabriel. Take care.